From national to international media, news about the Uttarkashi tunnel rescue operations have been a top news story for the past few weeks. The tunnel construction, which took a tragic turn when a portion of the under construction Silkiara Dandalgao tunnel on the Brahmakal Yamunotri Highway collapsed in Uttarkashi district, trapping 41 workers inside on November 12. Uttarkashi Tunnel, which is part of the Chardam Mahamark project, comprising nearly 900 kilometers of highways, including several bridges and tunnels, and a cost of rupees 12 crore. But this project actually courted controversy due to the concerns raised over building of roads in ecologically fragile areas. Let me tell you that the Chardam project sparked a lot of controversies as soon as the foundation stone was laid. Let me give you a brief detail about this tunnel project and why it attracted controversies. In 2016, Prime Minister Narendra Modi laid the foundation stone of the project. The Chardam Mahamark project comprised nearly 900 kilometers of highways, including several bridges and tunnels, estimated cost of 12,000 crore. The main controversy was due to the concerns raised over the building of roads in ecologically fragile areas. As we all know that the geological framework of Uttarakhand is rather complex. Several NGOs in 2018 challenged the project in the National Green Tribunal, arguing that the construction of the roads would harm the already fragile mountain ecosystem due to excavation, deforestation and collection of resultant debris of the hills, all of which could contribute to landslides. But government argued that the wide highways were required to work as feeder routes for to the Indo-China border and help soldiers move and heavy weaponry in case of conflict. So in December 2021, the government allowed Chardam project to continue. The main reason being that defense forces need better routes in border areas for operational reasons in view of the tensions along the India-China border. The project also aimed to improve connectivity to four major Hindu pilgrimage sites in Uttarakhand, Kedarnath, Badrinath, Yamunotri and Gangotri. Now, coming back to the collapse of the tunnel, which raised serious concerns about the safety of infrastructure projects in India, leading to preliminary investigation into the cause of the collapse, which suggested that it may have been triggered by a geological fault known as a shear zone. A shear zone is a zone of intense deformation in Earth's crust or mantle where rocks have been crushed and brisiated. The fault is located near the site of the collapse and it is believed that its movement may have weakened the tunnel, tunnel walls, causing them to collapse under the weight of the overlying rock and debris. Following the initial investigation, a more detailed geological study was conducted to thoroughly assess the role of the shear zone in the collapse. The study involved extensive geological mapping, core drilling and geophysical surveys. The findings of the study confirmed that the shear zone played a significant role in the collapse. Besides the geological factors, the investigation also examined whether there were any shortcomings in the construction practices that may have, been, that may have contributed to the collapse. The investigation focused on aspects such as tunnel design, excavation methods and the use of appropriate construction materials. It is not a surprise, but there have been allegations of political interference in the investigation into the collapse. Some critics have suggested that the government may be trying to downplay the role of construction flaws, instead focus solely on geological factors to avoid any liability. Now this is something to ponder upon. But the government did give its best for the rescue operation Talking about the rescue operation, it began on November 12, 2023 with a complex and challenging endeavour. The trapped workers were located approximately 80 metres inside the tunnel, which was filled with debris and was at risk of further collapse. Rescue teams from the National Disaster Response Force, Indo-Tibetan Border Police and the Army worked tirelessly for 12 days to clear the debris, create an escape passage and ultimately rescue the trapped workers. The operation involved the use of heavy machinery, including excavators, bulldozers and drills, as well as specialized techniques such as ground-penetrating radar to locate the workers. The rescue operation, which began on 
12 November, following the collapse of a portion of the under construction Silkiara Dandalgao Tunnel on the Brahmkal Yamunotri Highway in Uttarkashi district, was a complex and challenging endeavor. The trapped workers were located approximately 80 meters inside the tunnel, which was filled with debris and was at risk of further collapse. Rescue teams from the National Disaster Response Indo Tibetan border and the army worked days to clear the debris create escape passage and ultimately rescue the trapped workers. The operation involved the use of heavy machinery and excavators. The successful rescue of the trapped workers is remarkable achievement and testament to the skill which is dedication and determination of the rescue teams. The operation has been hailed as a triumph of human courage and resilience and it has served as an inspiration to people around the world. Here is a timeline for rescue operation of November. It started on November 12, a portion of the under construction Silkiara Dandalgao tunnel collapsed, trapping 41 workers inside. On November 13, rescue operations began. On November 14, a US made auger machine is deployed, drilled through the debris. On November 15, the auger machine encounters a technical snag, halting the drilling operation. On November 16, a team of geophysicists is deployed to use ground penetrating radar to locate any obstacles that may have been hindering the progress of the auger machine. On November 17, the GPR survey reveals the presence of a metallic object believed to be a rock wedged between the tunnel walls. On November 18, specialists are brought in, the cl in to clear the metallic object allowing the auger machine to resume its operation. On November 19th, the auger machine successfully penetrated the debris and made contact with the trapped workers. As of November 20, rescue teams established communication with the trapped workers and confirmed their safety. On November 21, rescue operations intensified as team worked to create larger opening for the trapped workers to exit. On November 22, rescue teams managed to create a narrow passage for the trapped workers to escape. As of November 28, today, the Uttarkashi operation has been successful so far and it is safe to say that all 41 trapped workers might hopefully be rescued alive and in good health.